Hallo. Da sind wir bei endlich wieder bei Red Dead Redemption, aber beim ersten Teil. Da habe ich mal jetzt zugelegt nach unserer längeren Pause von Red Dead Redemption. Und ja, ich habe es ja damals auf der Dreier schon mal gespielt. Das ist ja schon ewig her. Und äh, ja, freue mich gerade tierisch drüber. Äh, zu zocke. Und das ist jetzt das dritte Video. Und ja, ich freue mich echt, dass wir mich dann wieder auf meiner Reise begleiten. Und dann machen wir ein bisschen weiter. Und bin dann mal am Ende gespannt, wie viele Videos zusammengekommen sind. Auf jeden Fall, ja, bin ich jetzt schon quasi geflossen, wenn ich hier durch bin, werde ich mal wohl auch wieder unser Zweier runterladen. Und dort wahrscheinlich mal noch ein bisschen online auf Tour gehen. Weil, ja, war Gänsehaut, als ich schon mal gestartet habe. So, da gucken wir mal ein bisschen weiter, was uns erwartet. Hey, Partner. One must take care of one's body. It's where the mind lives. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? I hope to see you again. Not due to injury or illness, obviously. So, da gehen wir nochmal mal bei die Bonnie und schauen, was er für uns hat. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Okay, das hört sich nach einem Pferderennen aus. Um. Yeah. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! <laughs> oh, Miss Dill, Miss Potter. Let's go! Let's 
Catch up! Come. Ja, und die Regio gibt die Austausch. Vergesst, man, man ist aus der Übung. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the Marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think's best, Mr. Marston. Ja, das war jetzt ein bisschen wenig, dann machen wir das an noch nie. Ah, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. It's a human. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small hole. 
Bolden have a great play. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. So, dann gehen wir mal zum Dock. Excellent to see you today. Howdy, friend. I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. Thank you very much. I wish I was dead. I don't believe you. Be well. I'm not trying to be your Del Lobo nonsense. Another great day for this. Ah, oh, okay. Good. What was the task then? Weiteres. Okay, einfaches Lager. Und Medizin. Oh. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Okay. Aha. Kann ich mit Bibel kaufen oder mieten? Wo kann ich mich gerne mit dran erinnern?
Okay, alles klar. Pulver. Ah ne, kann man eigentlich was brauchen. 50 Stunden ein Zimmer. Wahrscheinlich. Aber da mag ich Geld haben. Oder was? A50. Ups. Komm mal das machen. Ja, komm mir egal. Aber zum Abschluss vom Video und dann starten wir gleich das nächste Video. Da schauen wir uns mal den Film an. Much obliged.
yung limak ka dalang bala ng pop. Ja, das war's. Dankeschön fürs Einschauen und ja, dann melden wir uns gleich im nächsten Video bei euch. Ciao.